Hello everyone, this is Vortex259. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Dragon Warrior 3 for the Game Boy Color. Well, today is February 17th, which means today is the official release date of Dragon Quest V from the Nintendo DS here in the United States. I'm not really sure about other regions, but yeah, I'm going to give Square Enix a little bit of free advertising here. If you guys have been enjoying my Let's Play of Dragon Warrior 3, which is also called Dragon Quest 3, then I would highly recommend Dragon Quest 5 if you have a Nintendo DS. The subtitle of that game is called Hand of the Heavenly Bride. I've actually got mine pre-ordered. It should be here in a few days. And it's never before been released, at least here in the United States, so this is a title I am definitely going to be looking forward to, since I've never played it before. Alright, well in our previous video we went into the lighthouse here and we talked to the man upstairs and he told us about new villages which await us far to the south. So what we're going to do today is sail to the south and see if we can visit at least one of those villages. So let's just keep sailing along here. Are we making any progress here? Yeah, we're making some fairly decent progress I guess. Seems like night and day go quicker when you sail in a ship versus walking on foot. Well, here's a new enemy for you. This is the Mad Condor. Big birds. And we're just going to try to hurt them as quickly as possible. Let's use Blaze more on one of these guys. There you go. Took out the first one. And Glenn is going to deliver the coup de gras on the second one. And Matt is going to be promoted to level 12 there. Very good, Matt. You're going to learn the Inferno spell. And Mad Condor drops a treasure chest. And we get a token. Yay! All right. Another chance at Pachisi. Can never have enough of that. And I didn't mean to peer in the water. Is that legal? <laughs> Well, let's uh, take a side step here and go down this bridge and go into this shrine real quick. And in here, you'll find a priest who will render services should you need them. And also, there's a traveler's gate up there, which will take you to a distant part of the world. Let's talk to this nun. She says, Our small temple serves sailors. The villagers of Tadanki used to visit here often, but now, hmm. That doesn't bode well. I wonder what happened to the villagers of Tadanki. Well, let's go see if we can find that village. We have our trusty rusty boat at our disposal, so we can just keep going around. Yeah, I think we're getting pretty close now once you start seeing mountains there. Yep, we're rounding the southern tip of the continent. Alright, let's continue here. And I'm going to get off the boat right about here. Well, here's another new enemy. This is Hell Armor. Let's cast a snowstorm spell upon them. Hero's Whip does some nice damage to each one of those. Let's see if Snowstorm does as well. Yeah, there you go. Alright, we defeated those guys. 315 experience, so this is another good place to grind, I guess. Alright, let's continue north and we find a village here. Maybe this is Tadanki. Let's go inside and take a look around. Oh, that's interesting. Listen to that music. Well, this village appears to be completely deserted. Kind of like Hawksness was in the original Dragon Warrior game for the NES. There's nobody here. I wonder what happened. Did everybody just pack up and leave? Like in the Grapes of Wrath? Well, this is an old weapon shop it looks like. Let's go upstairs and look around here. What is that, a dead person laying on the bed? There is no reply. It's just a corpse. Man, well... Let's uh, not go downstairs yet. Let's go back upstairs real quick and check the dresser here. 
and inside the dresser we're going to get a black hat which nobody in my party can use but I'll just sell that off for gold a little bit later and we've got a treasure chest here let's see what's in here the dark lamp wow I wonder what that does well let's go ahead and fall down this crack here back onto the first floor and take a look at that dark lamp and yeah I really do need to organize my equipment I'll take care of that here in a bit okay so it's in Glenn's possession so we'll go ahead and use it here Glenn lit the dark lamp can you light a dark lamp wouldn't you darken a dark lamp <laughs> I don't know that's kind of weird well what this actually does is it turns day into night so you don't have to worry about walking around anymore for time to pass if you want it to become night just use that it's a lifetime use and I guess uh, it's got a lifetime warranty on it so look at that it's now nightfall and we're back in Tadanki here and there's actually real live people here welcome to Tadanki village how about that well this is where we went upstairs and found the dark lamp just a moment ago but now it's uh, looks like the weapon shop is open for business this guy sells weapons and armor well let's see what we've got for sale here well, we've got the mace whip, but uh, Matt's already equipped with that. But look at that, we've got a steel whip, which will increase his attack by 10 points. So I've got plenty of gold. I'm going to go ahead and buy one of those for Matt there. And we'll just go ahead and equip it on him. All right, some good equipment for a change. Already got the shears. Well, uh, you can also get a skirt. Interestingly enough, is that a magic dress? Pete and Matt could equip that. But what I really want is the magic armor, which all four of my characters can use. Look at those bonuses you'll get to your defense. So I'm going to take a moment and buy four of those, and I'll be right back. Okay, I went ahead and bought four of those magic armors. So we got one for each of my party members. Everybody got a good defense bonus from that. So yeah, I'm glad we got to visit this magic shop. Well, apparently all the villagers of this town only come out at night for whatever reason. So let's uh, talk to a few of them. This soldier tells us there's a volcano not far from here. Go east around the Horn of Tadanki, hug the coast, and go up a river. The volcano will be on your left. The volcano is the key to Gondo. However, unless you are truly strong, going near the crater would be nothing short of foolhardy. So yeah. Uh, we'll need to use that inlet eventually to access the volcano, which will take us to the Gondo area. Well, what what is Gondo, I wonder? Well, let's talk to this guy. The Demon Lord is said to be in Gondo. Oh, okay, so Gondo is the home of the Demon Lord, deep in the mountains to the north. Because we're so close, it feels as if his evil presence surrounds our village. Well, maybe that's the reason... Tadanki is haunted or cursed or whatever it is is because the demon lord is so close Well up through here. We've got an inn if you wanted to use that you could do it But uh, you would wake up and it'd be day and all the ghosts or cursed people or whatever they are of the town would be gone This lady says oh, it would be so wonderful if we could fly We'd be able to go anywhere we want without fear of monsters well this is an RPG. Do you think we'll eventually get a vehicle that will allow us to fly? Well, that's probably a hint that we eventually will. And let's see, we've got a guard up here. He says, this is the jail. Stay away. Okay. Well, I guess we'll do just that. We may want to come back and visit that jail a little bit later in the game. Hint, hint. Okay, well, let's go ahead and have Matt use his new step guard spell here. And we'll uh, cross the swamp here. And we've got an old man. He says, listen, you must find the final key that opens jail doors. You must set sail for Lancel, an island far south of Baharata. Oh, okay, well, if we want to find the final key, we need to go to Lancel, it appears. Well, let's check this base, and we'll find 55 gold coins in here. If we go down these stairs, got a couple of coffins here. I believe we can check right here for a life acorn. There we go. And I am going to go ahead and give that to... Let's give that to Pete. He hasn't had any seeds lately. And wow, his max HP is going to raise by 5. Very good. Alright, going back upstairs here. Let's go ahead and have Matt cast the step guard spell one more time so we can avoid taking damage. 
And I believe somewhere around here, there it is, we can get a tiny metal in the middle of the swamp. Tiny metal number 33. All right, well that's pretty much the uh, village of Tadanki for now. Uh, the main thing you want to get here for now is the dark lamp. So uh, we heard from the old man that there is a village called Lancel, and it's located to the south of Baharata, and Lancel is actually located on this island right here. So that's where we're going to go in our next episode of Let's Play Dragon Warrior 3. Thank you for watching today. This has been Vortex 259. Have a great day. We'll see you again next time.